All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is a uh, announcement and plus a uh, video on uh, a new uh, a new the rebirth of OB session, which is based on Chromixium. So it's basically Chrome OS for Arch Linux or Chromixium for Arch Linux, uh, which is based on Chromium and the application launcher and Chromium as the default web browser and so on. Uh, I'm not sure how much I can of this I can record. Um, this is running off the USB through simple stream recorder, uh, but I'll try to go through this. Now, when you first boot up, you might see everything as uh, as I do, as a blank screen. I don't know why that's not working, but you can change the wallpaper and select anything uh, you wish. Apply, and there you go or I think the default one that I had was this one. Okay, and uh, you right click and you have your menus and your applications and stuff. Now down at the bottom here, I don't have a desktop zoom, it's install OB session. So I'm gonna cancel out of that first because as usual, I like to uh, run the uh, HD parameter setting, okay, uh, to uh, secure erase my uh, solid state drive, even though I don't probably don't have to. I'll just go through that and I'll be back in a second. All right, so moving along, uh, there is wireless facilities. I was able to connect to the internet, uh, no problem. Uh, this is PAMAC. Um, don't install updates when you're doing, uh, trying to install this. You can do that after. And I'll step through, hopefully, if this, all, if this goes well, I'll step through the post install. So let's move on to installing OB session. And, and again, I'm not sure how much of this I can uh, record while I'm installing. So prepare installation. I'm, I apologize. I don't have a desktop zoom. No, no. So you set your virtual console to whatever key map and keyboard layout as well. Your country region. You can list devices. So I have a whole bunch here. Partition disk. I want SDB in my case. SDA has Windows on it. And SDB has nothing right now. And I'm going to use Gparted. And as you can see, it's unallocated because I just did a security race. So I usually uh, click uh, select device, create new partition table. Click apply. Now, since this is a solid state drive and I have 12 gigs of RAM, I don't need a swap file. I've never had to use for one uh, forever, for years, uh, because of the RAM and the, and the processor and so on so I, I don't use one so if you need to just make sure you allocate space so if you click add and you want to whatever space make sure you uh, take it away from whatever number you have so I'm just going to click add and just click this to apply the operations click apply and very quick it's done and you just close this and I don't have, I didn't set up the partitions for logical volume management or anything, so I'm just going to skip to the next step, mount the partition, and it's device STB1, in my case an extension 4 file system. And from, just from uh, experimenting in a uh, virtual machine, if you did allocate this uh, swap space, inside of a G part, you can still leave it blank and it'll pick it up in the uh, file system table and it'll have the swap file. So I don't want anything else uh, mounting mounting up. So done, we're back. And just the boring part, install base and you just let that run for, it takes two or three minutes depending on your system. This is 64 bit only so far right now. So I'll just let this uh, finish up and I'll be back. Okay, so now we just to run our MK init uh, CPIO file. And uh, I forgot to mention, this is by uh, Carl Duff, the uh, creator of Architect Linux. And uh, I'm using the PackBang uh, installer, basically. So now we just install the bootloader, uh, Grub2. And yes, that's where I want it. Uh, pay attention to that part. What device is DEV SDB in my case? Hopefully it'll pick up, uh, OS Pro is uh, included in the ISO, so it should pick this up. Okay, so back, configure base, generate your file system table, use the unique ID or identifier, set your host name, 
and uh, so on. And then you set your root password and uh, add users. And after doing those two things, uh, just uh, hit back, review. Um, I like to set the sudo -ors to no password. So I just page down to the end and just uh, arrow key up. And where you see uh, percent wheel equals all all, I just put a number sign there to, un to comment it out and then delete the comment beside no password line. And that's it. So control O to write that out. Completely optional. Control X to quit. And that's pretty much what it, yep, that's good enough for now. So back, done, close installer. And yes, it's uh, done. So all you have to do is uh, remove whatever media you have or whatever you're doing as you reboot. And hopefully, I'll see you on the other side. It'll take me a while because I have to download a few things to keep recording. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you on the flip side. All right, so I'm back and everything went uh, fairly well. Um, just a couple things I want to mention is, of course, it's 64-bit only. And the control panel is uh, if you right click or you press control M to bring up that, you can have the ampersand open the control panel. Um, I put the documentation here and it'll just open uh, the Sudar file manager. And first thing you want to do is uh, address this uh, issue with Pac-Man not working. So at the bottom, just copy and just open a terminal and then paste that in, press enter and let it, uh, it'll take a little while to refresh the keys. Okay. Uh, other stuff, your keyboard shortcuts are just a normal uh, control alt for a terminal, control N for a notepad, alt H, and the one I just mentioned, alt H is for seminar, and the one I mentioned, control M for the desktop menu. Okay, and if you have an NVIDIA series card, um, make sure you remove uh, uh, the services, uh, virtual box services or any modules so they're not running, and then uh, just run the commands as uh, shown here. So that's where the documentation is. I guess it's good a place any. And so the purpose of this obviously is to use Chrome, Chromium. And I just uh, made it like this. So your apps is shown here, your home folder, home folder, your home button, your home page is the apps page. So uh, if you want to just Google just search Google or whatever okay and then you click your home page and it, your home button I'm so sorry it goes back and the apps I just kept it fairly straightforward okay if you want them to open in a dedicated window just uh, right click on each one open in a, in a window open as a window or as a window and then if you close or you keep that open if you want and say if you go to uh, YouTube it'll just open as a dedicated window Okay, <laughs> and the sound works and everything uh, seems to be working. It's uh, Pulse Audio, uh, and apologies for the audio, the crackling audio. It's because I haven't set everything up properly. Uh, down here is uh, your action button, basically the uh, power off reboot. Um, logout is uh, it might be buggy. There's a, there's a conflict with Chromium and uh, I believe OpenBox. So if logout isn't working properly when you log back in, uh, if you have an error, that's probably why, okay? And if you right click, you can change your avatar. And whatever you do, don't touch any of this stuff in here where your first name is, just leave it blank, or leave it as it is, whatever. If you wanna change, you click on the picture and browse. Uh, go to uh, devices. Uh, nope, wrong one. Other locations, computer, there you go. <laughs> USR, share, and it's under Chrome avatars. avatars. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't show you a preview, but if you want to click one, click apply, you can see it there. Apply and give it a second to change. There it goes, so now it's like a record player. Or whatever you want. You can You can have a custom one as well, so... Uh, back to the control set panel, uh, user accounts, you can change your uh, login avatar to anything you want. And uh, unlock to make any changes, change your password, these these will work. 
or if you want to add another user, uh, that should work as well. And um, just the usual stuff. Uh, I don't have Bluetooth, so it won't work. it'll just crash. And uh, uh, modem settings, I hit there by accident. And keyboard shortcuts again, a little strange. Say if you want to uh, say there's a program called GM Run. So you press the key combination, say Alt R, and then you click the Add button here, and then it's, click where it says Focus, and then oh boy, where is it? I can't find it. Oh, Execute, and then I don't know why this is not. There's another part here. There you go. The command is GM Run, and click Enabled, and give it a name. Run it doesn't matter. And this is to save, and that's to exit. So you press Alt R, it brings up the run com command, and escape to quit. Uh, GTK theme, uh, they call that light DM. Um, you can uh, change the picture, uh, the font. Uh, I'm not sure about the image. You might be able to. Uh, you specify what the time and date formats are if you, you want to do that position of where your login is and so on and save and close or reload uh, screen saver uh, you probably want to just a uh, depending on your system you might want to not want to have anything too fancy running but uh, the uh, suspend uh, the lock screen does work and uh, like I said depending on your system uh, if you choose a simpler uh, screen if you want to use a lock screen It'll kick in. If not, it'll just be black and you just log in from there. All right, so that should wrap it up for this uh, release of Promixium uh, Inspired. And I just named it OB Session because it's open box session, basically. <laughs> and uh, if you want to try this out uh, and download it and try it out in the virtual machine or on your system, let me know if uh, there's anything that's not working. I, like, I'm aware of the logout one. So hopefully, that'll be fixed sometime down the road okay so thank you so much for watching and uh take care everybody and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now